Hi and welcome to next quick run through of Ninja vs Robot, a uh, mini series, a mini game series, a very nice little print and play, um, quick playing dice game from the guys at Experimental Playground. Now this is my own coloured in version. The version you get uh, that you can download is black and white, but you can uh, colour it in if you want to. Um, I've also done my own icons for a lot of these things, coloured them in, um, and my robots are all custom robots. You can see. Bender there. It's my mind, right? well, you wouldn't get that normally. So all you need is that one A4 sheet of paper to print out, cut out the bits, two dice, got my lovely dice tower dice there. And then we start by shuffling up all the robots. They will turn upside down. I'll explain what they are later on. So mix them all up. Here's my little starting ninja. And what he's good at doing, he'll start on the S for start there. He is trying to get back all the way across here to his dojo, where he has to go, or I think in the rule, the instructions, it says it's the uh, the castle. I always think of it as his dojo, though, um, where he's going to warn the emperor that robots have come to attack. And as he goes along, he's fighting the robots. Health point starts at 10. We have no experience points yet. We'll get those when we defeat robots. Uh, the skill point starts at one, you can see there. Uh, these are the skills you get. You can use to adjust die results. So each turn what happens is, first of all, phase one gain energy. Bing, two dice, that's my energy. Phase two, move. Move your ninja to the one, two space forwards. So you see the dots, this is where we're going. So he's moved on one. Phase three, battle. So you randomly draw the number of robots according to the number beside the place you're in. We're in the Shinarin Forest, which is a number three. So we pick three robots at random to fight. So we have a Bombot. Next one, we have a L for low or light robot. And we have another light robot. There's a lucky draw there. So we're going to be fighting the Bombot and two low light bots. Now to fight, we roll the dice, we see what we get. Sorry, we only roll one dice at a time, I should say that. I have a three. Now to defeat a light, you need a three, four, five, or a six. These are all lights. Special thing with the bombot, if you destroy a bombot, which is what I was doing, going for, bombot goes there, trying to get or destroy them. The bombot takes out another robot of your choice. Any robot, and destroy another one. So there we go, we've got two down, oops, with one roll, it's rather good. We have one left, so we can re-roll this dice. A two, oh dear, oh dear. So he's hit us for a point of damage. Oh no, that's not right yet, because I have another energy. We roll the other energy first, this one's now locked. Three, I've now destroyed him. Now if I'd rolled less than three with that second dice, I would have had to take a point of damage. I would have gone down. And it, at the end of the round, once you've locked, if you lock all your dice and there are still robots left to fight, you reduce your health by the number of robots left. So let's do one more round there. I've now finished off the robots there. So phase one is gain energy. I get both the dice back. Many of them are lost. I move up. Still in the Shinarin forest. So level three, you see that you see is four, and the Sabaku Desert is five. You get more and more robots as you go along. But still just three for this level. So we have a low robot, a high robot, or heavy, isn't it? and another light robot. Two lights and a heavy. Not too bad. So let's see if we can fight them. Uh, that's a six. Um, oh yes, you should you should be declaring uh, before you roll which might uh, which uh, robot you're fighting. So I was going to fight this one, so I thought this one at six, easily killed. There we are. He goes onto the experience track. Once we fill up the experience up to six, we get an extra skill point. And the skill points can be used, you can see here, choose which one you want. Uh, plus one to a uh, die result, re-roll a die, or add a health point to the track. So as I destroyed him, I roll the same dice. Five. Um, I was going from the low again, by the way. So I'll destroy the five. I could have done with that with a high, to be honest. Roll again for the high. A one. Oh dear. Locked. 
second dice. A four. Now a four will be good enough for a light or a medium, but not for a heavy. So he's done me a point of damage because that dice is now locked. There we go. So I'm down by one health. So the round starts again. I gain the energy. Um, we can't move because we're still in battle. And so we go straight into battle. So we fight him again. A three locked. And we need a five or a six to beat him. A four. Right, now I'm getting a bit annoyed with this heavy guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a, spend a skill point. I'm going to do a illusion plus one to die result. Four becomes a five. There we go. And I can now defeat him. Now I've filled up the experience points. They all come off. They get randomly shuffled back into the pile. Okay. And I gain a skill point for having six experience points. And you then start another round, so he would move on to here, and now we get four monsters to fight. So we carry on like this, you carry on on all these points here until the last one. Fight your five monsters, hopefully you don't run out of energy. If you go down to zero health, then you die. If you can get him to the castle, then you win. And that is Ninja vs. Robot.